Smith and other state lawmakers discussed issues facing the General Assembly tonight in a legislative town hall forum. The forum was held at the Big Sandy Community and Technical College Prestonsburg campus. Though the discussion touched on a wide range of issues, lawmakers agreed time will be the greatest challenge to overcome in this brief 30-day session. Lawmakers discussed a variety of issues facing the 2015 session, including House Bill 1, which would allow communities to vote on project-specific tax increases up to one penny. What I really like about this is it's certainly a novel approach to saying something as taxpayers we've always liked. We need a bridge. We, we take a look at it. We as a community decide this bridge will open us up to either commerce in Canada or whatever. Lawmakers were also asked if they would support a statewide right to work bill. We asked the question in committee about uh, who, who has left the state, who was coming and who, who didn't come to the state because of that and left to go to another state. And nobody could tell us who, what companies it was. Lawmakers agreed the heroin bill that failed last year would get a second chance in 2015. I have no problem punishing the dealers to the full extent. I don't care when somebody says, well, we don't have the money to put them in prison, we don't have this. But I'm still, whatever we have to do, House Speaker Greg Stumbo plans to make a minimum wage increase a priority this session. As a 40-hour week worker working 52 weeks a year makes about $15,000 before whatever taxes and deductions that, that occur. And that is not a living wage. That and other battles will likely take place in the current session, which runs into March. Lawmakers also discussed their positions on legalized marijuana, expanded gaming, a tax-free holiday, and other issues.